What's up, everybody? The reason black people talk so much about slavery in America is because it was never corrected. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was 460 years of planned ignorance, and then black people are set free, and you say you must compete and be equal. How are you going to be equal if you suffer 460 years of planned ignorance? That puts you 460 years behind the starting line. So you can never catch up. And the reason you see all these big tall buildings in America and these big in these cities is because that's due to wealth. And that's what white people got wealth. Not every white person you read has wealth, but uh, you know, they control the wealth for the most part. Now, with that being said, during slavery you had house niggas and you had field niggas. When you had house niggas, when you had house uh, a man working in the house, he didn't have a dick. It would cut his dick off if he worked in the house because the master would be afraid that the slave is going to fuck his wife or his daughters or his aunts or some shit like that. So they would cut his dick off. And another reason they would cut his dick off is, you know, uh, to take away his aggressive nature. And the reason I said it now is because in America, you know, they don't take men, black men dicks off physically. They take it off mentally and psychologically. And this is why you have so many soft black men walking around in America telling you that you was born gay. You can't be born gay. Gay is not genetic. There's no such thing as a gay gene. And if there's such thing as a gay gene, then how come there's not a necrophilia gene? How come there's not a pedophile gene? How come there's not a, a, a bestiality gene? Everything humans do starts in your brain. Your brain is not a leader, it's a follower. And that hits your ego explicitly and then your body falls in line and does what your brain tells it to do. Your brain don't tell you what to do, you tell your brain what to do. You know what I'm saying? And the reason I'm saying that is because I'm not here to talk bad about who chooses to do what as far as, you know, being a homosexual and all that. That's your business. Who you sleep with is your business. That's why I can't understand like when gay basketball come basketball players come out the closet, why do they announce it? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times these guys we average anyway. You know, but back to what I'm saying is like um you know, society loves to see soft black men because they're safer. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see so many black men on TV telling jokes and acting like women. You know what I'm saying? I have my train is coming, I gotta get ready to go. I make a part two to this video another time. Peace.